everyone and welcome to my channel. We're totally going to jump right into things today and talking about snacking 101. Because I don't know about you, but it seems that we seem to be gravitating more towards small little meals throughout the day and have less time to sit down for those big meals. And what about that 3.30 presentation you make at work? Do you ever see your colleagues nodding their head down and up because they have a hard time staying focused? Or watching your kids beeline it from the front door and heading right into the kitchen because they're famished. The time between lunch and dinner is critical to make sure that you have something small in between to prevent that hangry drive home, pre-dinner munching, or consuming too large of dinners. But understanding what to put in your snack is critical to make sure that you stay nourished and fueled until that time. Research has repeated itself over and over again about the two different combinations of what to include in a snack, protein and complex carbohydrate. Protein can be found in a variety of foods, such as nuts and seeds, eggs, yogurt, beans or legumes, cheese, tofu or tempeh, as well as fish, poultry, or beef. Complex carbohydrates, on the other hand, get their term because they have a good dose of fiber in them, which ultimately makes you feel fuller longer by releasing the sugars from the food slower. Complex carbs can be found in foods like dried or fresh fruit, crackers or whole grain toast, vegetables, homemade whole grain muffins, or even avocado. So protein and complex carbohydrate, we want to put them together anytime you make a snack or mini meal. Make sure to subscribe to my channel below so that next time when you come back and I give a whole list of different snack combinations, you'll be set for your day. Thanks.